In the heart of Italy's Campi Flegre, a volcanic caldera simmering just west of Naples, lies a peculiar wonder known as Bagnoli's Boiling Sea. This geothermal anomaly, where the Mediterranean's azure waters bubble and steam as if a hidden cauldron brews beneath, has captivated scientists, locals, and adventurers for centuries. Imagine standing on the shore, feeling the ground tremble faintly underfoot, while the sea itself exhales wisps of vapor, a testament to the Earth's restless core. Today we decode the mysteries of this boiling enigma, exploring its geological origins, the science that sustains it, and the human stories woven into its steamy tapestry. Our journey begins millions of years ago in the fiery forge of the Phlegrian fields. Campi Phlegre, meaning burning fields in Greek, is a vast volcanic caldera formed by cataclysmic eruptions that shaped the landscape around 36,000 years ago. The area spans about 13 kilometers in diameter, encompassing parts of Naples and the Tyrrhenian coast. Beneath this seemingly serene terrain lies a magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock lurking at depths of 3 to 8 kilometers. It's this subterranean heat engine that powers Bagnoli's spectacle. The caldera isn't dormant. It's alive with Bradyseism, slow, pulsating ground movements that lift and lower the land by meters over decades, a phenomenon that has reshaped coastlines and swallowed ancient Roman ruins. Bagnoli, once an industrial hub with steelworks and shipyards, sits on the caldera's edge, where the land meets the sea in a dramatic embrace. The boiling sea refers to the hydrothermal vents and fumaroles that punctuate the coastal waters here. These are not mere hot springs, they are windows into the planet's geothermal soul. Seawater infiltrates cracks in the volcanic rock, descending deep into the heated subsurface. There, superheated by the magma, it rises again, laden with minerals and gases erupting through seafloor fissures in plumes of scalding fury. Temperatures can soar to 100 degrees Celsius or more, turning the surface into a frothing cauldron where bubbles burst like popcorn, releasing hydrogen sulfide that lends a faint sulfurous tang to the air. The science behind this anomaly is a symphony of geology and chemistry. Hydrothermal circulation drives the process. Cold seawater percolates through permeable layers of tuff and lava, encountering heat gradients that can exceed 100 degrees per kilometer. As it heats, the water expands, becomes less dense, and ascends, often carrying dissolved silica, iron, and other elements that precipitate out as colorful deposits, reds, yellows, and whites, staining the seabed like an abstract painting. This isn't unique to Bagnoli. Similar systems power geysers worldwide, from Yellowstone to Iceland. But here, the proximity to the sea amplifies the drama, creating a visible, audible boil right at the shoreline. Zooming in on the mechanisms, consider the role of faults and fractures. The Compi Flegre is crisscrossed by tectonic scars from past eruptions, allowing fluid migration. Recent studies using seismic tomography, mapping underground waves to image the interior, reveal a complex network of reservoirs. One key feature is the Solfatara crater nearby, a terrestrial counterpart where steam vents hiss and mud pools bubble, offering a preview of the underwater show. In Bagnoli's waters these vents cluster around the Piscina Mirabilis area, an ancient Roman cistern now submerged and repurposed by nature's hand. Divers exploring these sites report visibility obscured by sediment clouds, water temperatures spiking suddenly, and a surreal underwater fog from condensing steam. Humanity's dance with this boiling sea is as old as the hills, or rather, the craters. Ancient Romans harnessed the heat for thermal baths, building luxurious spas along the coast. The Emperor Nero himself is said to have bathed in these warm waters, praising their therapeutic virtues. Fast forward to the 19th century, and Bagnoli became a resort destination, with entrepreneurs piping hot water for public pools and spas. Visitors flocked to witness the Mare Balente, the boiling sea, believing its minerals cured ailments from rheumatism to infertility. Local folklore abounds, tales of mermaids guarding the vents or sailors lured to their doom by deceptive warmth. One legend speaks of a fisherman who, casting nets too close, hauled up a catch scalded alive, a cautionary yarn still told in Neapolitan taverns. Yet this wonder isn't without peril. The geothermal activity signals volatility. In 1984, a Brady seismic crisis uplifted the ground by 1.8 meters, evacuating thousands and cracking buildings like eggshells. Earthquakes rattled the region, reminding residents that Campi Flegre could awaken spectacularly. The last major eruption was in 1538, birthing Monte Nuovo, a hill that rose overnight from the earth. Today, monitoring stations dot the landscape, seismometers, tilt meters, and gas sensors, 
part of the Vesuvius Observatory's vigilant watch. Scientists warn of potential for phreatic explosions, where steam builds pressure and blasts forth, but the risk of a full Plinian eruption like Vesuvius in 79 AD is deemed low for now. Ecologically, the boiling sea is a paradox, a harsh environment fostering unique life. Extremophile bacteria thrive in the superheated acidic waters, akin to those in deep sea vents, hinting at origins of life on Earth. Fish avoid the hot zones, but hardy algae and invertebrates colonize the cooler margins, creating a bizarre biodiversity hotspot. Conservation efforts are underway. The area is part of the Phlegrian Islands Marine Protected Area, balancing tourism with preservation. Divers on guided tours don thick wetsuits to snorkel the edges, marveling at the thermals that ripple like invisible currents. Peering into the future, Bagnoli's boiling sea holds promise and challenge. As Italy phases out fossil fuels, geothermal energy beckons. Pilot projects tap the heat for electricity and district heating, potentially powering thousands of homes sustainably. Yet, industrial legacy lingers. The old steelworks site, polluted with heavy metals, complicates redevelopment. Urban planners envision a green rebirth, parks, eco-hotels, and educational centers, to honor the anomaly's dual nature, destroyer and healer. In decoding Bagnoli's boiling sea we uncover not just geological secrets but a mirror to our planet's dynamism. It's a place where fire kisses water, where ancient forces bubble into the present, urging us to tread lightly on this shared, seething home. As the steam rises and the sea sighs it whispers the earth is alive, and we are but guests in its grand geothermal theater.